When it comes to the greatest COD Zombies maps ever, Origins needs to be mentioned. This map has everything you can ask for in a phenomenal map. It has a great easter egg, a super fun high round, there's a unique vibe to this map that no map on COD Zombies has, and it is all around really fun to play. Majority of players love Origins. Even the world records on Origins are spectacular. The Black Ops 2 version of the map has one of the most unique high round world records as you are not playing against a reset, but you are playing against a error which forces you to play this map different than any other map on black ops 2. the black ops 3 version of the map is very similar to other black ops 3 maps where you just train with an aat or over and over again and not only the high rounds but all the other world records on origins are in their own world the no power is very strange as you can still get pack a punch weapons you can still grab double tap even the first room you can grab your double tap you can get a pack a punch mp40 get a pack a punch weevil if you're playing the black ops 3 version it is a very unique first room and that is what we are going to go into today the origins first room world record on black ops 3 by i'm overcharged this is not no ordinary Origins First Room World Record game. This was actually a challenge to get into Zombies World Championship 2. If you know, there is a Zombies World Championship, there was three total events, and to get into this Zombies World Championship, you have to actually complete one of the challenges. Now, one of the challenges for Zombies World Championship 2 was the Origins First Room. So whoever got the highest round only in the Origins First Room got flown out to California and compete in Zombies World Championship 2 and actually win money playing zombies it's actually a really cool event there's a lot of youtubers that go there i myself actually went to the third one zombies world championship 3 and i have to say it was definitely an awesome event i enjoyed it a lot this challenge right here this world record we were looking at was actually the game that got overcharged into his zombies world championship 2 spot but not only just a normal world record but it's also something that got him into a competitive zombies seat you'll notice as he's playing this game he is literally only going for headshots now he's not going for headshots just to get extra damage even though he's on insta call right now you see he is going for headshot the reason is on origins black ops 2 and black ops 3 when you get 115 headshots you actually get a free pack a punch weapon from the chest on black ops 3 the three weapons you can get are the icr the weevil and the mp40 now by far the worst weapon out of those three is the mp40 not only does it have barely any ammo but it has basically no damage at all the icr is also very good because it has a lot of damage but it does not have a lot of ammo that is why by far the best weapon is definitely the weevil not only does the weevil have so much ammo carrying 600 bullets by far way more than the two other weapons but it also does a decent amount of damage especially because it is an smg so when you are at close range it will do a lot of damage when we are looking at the restarts and the rng aspect of this world record the main rng aspect is just getting the weevil out of the chest so trying over and over again which is a one out of three chance it could be much worse but it's just only one out of three chance just trying over and over again until until you get a weevil out of the box now you'll also notice at the end of this round here he just starts buying shiva ammo over and over and over again now you might be really freaking confused why the hell is he just buying ammo over and again just like the 115 headshots for the pack punch weapon if you want to get a free double tap out of the chest you have to spend 30,000 points and if you are only in the first room the only points you can really buy is obviously quick revive the generator and the gobble gum machine and double tap is of course going to be very helpful in this first room double tap of course has double damage meaning you're gonna be able to kill these zombies two times faster than everybody else which is very nice to have in a first room now you'll see right here overcharge is his last headshot he goes over to the chest open before he gets the weevil and he gets the weevil so now he actually has a game he can actually go as high as he can as he's about to die right there he can go as high as he possibly can right now because he has a game all he needs to do right now is just get that 30,000 points so he can use double tap at the start of every round he just chills by quick revive as you see right here he does have a death machine and he also has an alchemical on him he is playing classic gobblegums meaning the three purples he's probably gonna run are alchem in plain sight and anywhere but here just to help with safety gums but this is the fastest place he can be able to stand just to kill zombies pops that alchem because he has basically no more ammo and he's just gonna shoot over and over again just standing here now this can get hectic if you do not know what you're doing if you're not careful because obviously there's zombies that can spawn behind you and zombies in front of you if you want to play fast of course you need to realize where the zombies are at all times now another drop that obviously is on origins that's on no other map is zombie blood and if you watch any 
speedrunner or high rounder play origins you'll know zombie blood is by far the worst drop to get because the zombies just all run away from you on the first room the zombie blood is perfect you see the zombies kind of just do like this sprint back and forth and they just line up right into your weevil and you can just shoot over and over again without having to worry about dying and then once you finish you just go over here and just resume shooting them but as you get backed out right there it is going to get very hard to get out of that scenario so popping abh is definitely not a bad shout especially on round 17 where you're going to be able to get it back easily so playing smart and safe is the best scenario now you'll see right here he's on round 25 but he has literally no weevil ammo left he hits that goblin machine and he gets in plain sight as you can see which is not good he has zero bullets in his weevil so now we are going to see a little glimpse of what he's going to be doing for basically 80 percent of this whole entire game so you see right here he gets his horde training over and over again right here grabs his horde if he needs to pop this in plain sight he definitely will he won't be afraid to do it over and over again just grabbing this horde once he has the full horde he's gonna go ahead and make his way downstairs by the rk5 so see he comes back down here just training over and over again shooting as many zombies as he possibly can now round 25 these zombies die pretty fast and he'll be able to get drops because you know he's still early in the game but on the later rounds those zombies are not gonna die at all you see right there he gets an insta kill and when you do have an insta kill you want to slowly make your way up the stairs of course not dying and right here this is gonna be the fastest and probably most riskiest place to play playing fast is definitely the best way to play see right here he is now at the end of the horde so he's gonna go ahead buy some rk5 ammo he's on round 26 now he's still gonna start hitting the goblin machine as you see he does right there he finally gets his alchem back zero weevil ammo but now he is going to have ammo now it is very key to note you don't want to kill the zombies too fast and as you see right there he gets a max ammo which is very unfortunate for him but you don't want to kill these zombies too fast because of the respawners you see right there zombies are respawning constantly if you get too many respawners at once then your game could be over you have too many zombies spawn out of the generator window literally it'll be impossible to run through you do want to make sure you're killing zombies at a steady pace and obviously that zombie ball is going to help him and now he has an insta kill he is chilling now you'll see here at the end of round 28 he actually does go ahead and grab his double tap now the reason you don't grab double tap right off the bat once you hit 30,000 points is because you don't want to risk dying early on and then losing your double tap for the whole entire game now because he grabbed this double tap on round 29 this means the next time he dies he will not have that double tap and this double tap is going to be what makes him so much faster in the later rounds literally does two times damage in those rounds now you'll see he's on round 44 and this is going to be a constant cycle of going up and down up and down the stairs every time he has weevil ammo he'll go back up train with the horde a little bit and and shoot them once he runs out of weevil ammo he comes down here with his rk5 and just trains in this horde over and over again just shooting them with the rk5 now if you're wondering how bad of a weapon the rk5 is on these rounds we can go ahead and actually find that out ourselves now the rk5 has a damage of 100 assuming you are right in their face which he is it does 100 damage and the max ammo is 135 bullets we go on round 59 just one round before he ended up killing himself due to boredom one zombie is 110,988 units of health. We do 110,988 units of health divided by 100 damage, we get 1,109.88. This means you will have to shoot 1,109 bullets to kill a zombie. So if we just divide that number, 1,109.88 divided by 135, we get 8. So it will take 8 RK5s to kill 1 zombie. It's, this is actually not that bad considering once he does get a max ammo he'll actually be able to use his weevil and his weevil of course will do much more damage and you'll notice too when he does have a weevil on this long of a round he doesn't have to worry about killing zombies slow you'll actually realize playing these challenges the longer you go the higher you go the easier the challenge actually gets because how fast you play early on is actually going to be harder on you when zombies are continuously just flying in from all different angles, you can die much easier when zombies are just coming from everywhere. But he's on round 59 shooting with his pack punched weevil. Zombies are not going to be spawning in that much. More zombies are actually going to be despawning from him not looking at the zombies for maybe like 3 seconds, then actually dying and respawning in. So being on round 59 might seem like super hard and nerve wracking, but honestly it's actually much easier than you guys will realize. So once overcharged actually hit round 60, he was done with the game. He thought no one is 
Davis beating this, I am going to California for my Zombies World Championship 2. He was just hoping nobody got 61. He bit the bullet and he was like, no, I'm, I'm done. And to be honest, I don't blame him. If you look at all of his footage, round 59 was four hours and a half. 58 was five hours and 50 minutes. 457, 430, like, like these rounds were so unbelievably long. And it's just funny to look at, if you look at round one to 41, that's about three hours long. Then you go to round 59, that's four hours and a half. That one round was longer than literally the first two thirds of the game. That's what makes Overcharged an insane player. So make sure you guys do go check him out. I'll make sure to put his link in the description. He actually doesn't really play zombies anymore. This game is actually about like six years old. This is actually one of the longest world records still held. And it's still a very good record. Obviously, I think everybody is just scared to play it. Nobody wants to put themselves through this mental warfare. I really did hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you guys drop a like, subscribe. It helps me a lot. It helps people get recommended to this content. So if you guys do want to support me, make sure you guys do that. Other than that, I will see you guys later.